Hello friends, 825 days of war between Russia and Ukraine and situation as last few weeks have been changing pretty fast. In southern war zone on Kharsov front, Krinky is no more with Ukrainians, neither with Russians. Kajachi, Lahiri and Antonovsky bridgeheads are held by the Ukrainians and water level is rising in Nipper River due to water discharge from Nipper Hydraulic or Hydroelectric Station which was released by the Ukrainians. Coming to Zaporizhia front, by last no significant changes on Rabatino Verbo direction. In Rimivki direction, Staro Mayorsky, Ukrainians have retreated little bit and now Russians hold 70% of this village while they also advance towards the southern part of Eurozone directions. Coming to east on Marinka front, in southern side towards Paraskivka, the fight is on in the western outskirts where Russians have advanced almost 200 meters towards Vodhyane, Solodke direction, the west of Vodhyane, Russians have advanced almost 200 meters. Pubeda also they gained 200 meters while Krasnogorovka no changes, fierce battle is continuing. Coming to Avdivka, after Umansky, Russian army advanced north of Orlivka, Umansky line. In addition, it also advanced west of Solovyu and east northeast of No Alexandrivka outskirts. Ukrainians somehow managed to retake some positions along the railway line this side. So, in addition to Novo Alexandrovka, Russians also advanced in the areas of Arkhangelsk, Seminivki regions almost 200 meters and Sokol direction 200 meters. After the fall of Netai Lo, Russian extended their advance towards approaches of Karliv Reservoir and thus they start a fight for Karliv has started. Bakhmut direction on southern flank, Klishivka direction, Russians have advanced another 100 meters. They hardly any place left for the Ukrainians. Offensive operation in east of Chasiv Yar, where Russians managed to advance 200 meters. Now their advance or attacks are no more or assaults are no more in sudden break with armors and other heavy equipments, military equipments, but slowly squeezing and advancing towards micro district of canal. Offensive operations also continuing towards Siversky Donetsk Donbass Canal. As far as north of Soledar Siversk sector is concerned, Russian army entrenched or rather entered center of Bilohorivka. The western hills of this village is still under Ukrainians, while the center now, as I said, is controlled by the Russians. Coming to northeast towards Liman Krimina direction, no significant changes. Beristu, northeast, Russians have advanced 200 meters, while other parts of Kupian Swatu, west of Kislivka along railway line, Russians made some gains. And along with Berestoy, they also advanced towards Novoselivsky. Russians have reopened the front towards Karmazi Nivka and Stal Maikhivka, though there are no spatial changes as far as territory is concerned. Coming to north of Kharkov, that is Slobozansky regions. Fight continues in Volchansk and Russians have made some gains towards Lipsy also. Russians improved their tactical positions 
and advanced in Siverni Dacha. Sumi direction? No, there are no fight as such, but Russians are enhancing their combat operation capabilities, bringing in more and more troops, and which Ukrainians are aware of it. Interdiction missions? Ukrainians, as before, have shelled various parts of Belgorod, Kursk, DPR, and even Luhansk regions. Using UAVs and ATACMs with cluster munitions, there seems to have plenty of them now. Russians carried out interdiction missions as before. Palestine-Israel Middle East Rafah crossing, a shootout took place between Egyptian and Israeli troops, killing one Egyptian soldier. In North Gaza, IDF struck capital of Palestinian enclave and many other cities around it while their operation in Zabelia continues. In southern Gaza, IDF hit Tal Az Sultan area where refugees too were sheltering and killed more than 40 civilians. As per Ukrainian commander-in-chief, Sirsky, French instructors in Ukraine, he says, sign documents that will allow first batch of French instructors to visit Ukraine training centers and become familiar with the infrastructure and personnel. In the meantime, Micro is on visit for three days in Germany and probably they are talking about more contingents including not only from France but UK, Poland and other Western countries. Now they want to rope in Germany also and basically initially they will be positioned in West and Northwest Ukraine so that those Ukrainian soldiers who are tied up here can be sent to the front in East and other regions. World War III we are nearing in. It is already in, friends, but with the uses of nuclear weapons that we are inching towards. And that's all for the day. Thank you.